Praise the Lord and welcome to Sunday Morning Christian Education. My name is Tere Deloach. I attend Greater Bethlehem Temple Apostolic Church located on 4781 Hamilton Avenue in Cincinnati, Ohio where Bishop James Chapman is the pastor. Today's lesson is titled Ezekiel Brings Hope to Israel. The lesson text comes from Ezekiel chapter 37 verses 1 through 14. The golden text reads, and I shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall ye know that I am the Lord, has spoken it, and performed it, said the Lord. And that's Ezekiel 37 and 14. Ezekiel was a prophet. He was a priest before he reached his call to prophesy. Ezekiel's name means God will strengthen. The lesson says Ezekiel's ministry at first was similar to Jeremiah, who was known as the weeping prophet. Just like Jeremiah, Ezekiel wanted to prepare the people for the fall of Jerusalem and quell or put, any, put an end to any false hopes they had concerning a speedy return to Judah. However, once the city fell, Ezekiel became a prophet of hope. If you don't have hope in your life, it could be a pretty rough, it could be pretty rough for you. You have to have hope to survive or move on. You'll be lost without hope. Without hope, what would be the reason to live? Without hope, we perish. Hope brings joy. According to dictionary.com, hope is defined as the action of wishing or desiring that something will occur. In Hebrews 11 and 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. If you don't have hope, then you certainly can't have faith. Isaiah 40, 31 says, in the New International Version, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. As you can see, if you don't have hope, then you're doomed. In our lesson, Ezekiel and the people of Judah was in captivity to the Babylonians. All hope was gone. They were scattered in different nations. God communicated with Ezekiel through visions or dreams. This was a message to Israel. In his vision, God took Ezekiel to a valley. This valley had a lot of bones that had dried out and turned white. They had been there for a while. The bones were people who died. There were heaps of bones everywhere. In the lesson it says God asked Ezekiel a question to prepare him for the miracle, to, for the miracle he was about to witness. He said, can these bones live? Ezekiel replied without guessing only God knew the solution to that question. Ezekiel knew it was impossible for man to bring the bones back, but not impossible for God. Ezekiel, God told Ezekiel to speak to the bones. Ezekiel used the words of God and not his own words because his own words cannot do what God can do. When Ezekiel spoke to the bones, there was a noise, like a rumbling or like an earthquake and the bones began to connect properly like the bones of skeletons and then the skin began to cover the bones but it took God to give breath of life as he did with Adam he told Ezekiel to speak to the wind and the wind gave life and they all stood up and it was a great army the purpose of the vision was to show that God was going to restore Israel. The bones represented Israel. People thought as a nation that they were dead and scattered throughout all the other nations. They lost hope of ever being restored to life as one nation. God promised to bring them back together as one. This was the message of hope that they needed to hear. Although this didn't happen yet, it gave Israel hope and it allowed them to get back right with God, 
you know, build their relationship with him. God loves us and knows what we need and he can provide. He is an unlimited God. He will accomplish whatever he promised. Now, I hope I has put something on your mind. Until the next time, God bless.